Nancy is the station master's daughter at Crovin's Gate. She occasionally helps out around the railway. One morning, she was polishing Scarlowy's frames. He was dozing in the sun, but Nancy wanted to talk. Wake up, lazy bones, she said. Your frames are filthy. Aren't you ashamed? Uh, no, yawned Scarlowy. No need to worry about it. And he went to sleep once more. He was thinking about Reneus and all the good times they had together before he temporarily was taken out of service to be repaired. Nancy interrupted again. Don't you want to look nice for when Reneus comes home? Scarloy wasn't sleepy anymore. What? When? Soon, she replied. Daddy told me. I must go now. Nancy, please polish me again, pleaded Scarloy. Do I really look nice? Now who's all worried? She laughed. Duncan was a bit jealous. Aren't you going to polish me too? He said. Sorry, not today, replied Nancy. I must help the refreshment lady get the ice cream ready for the passengers. Never mind, Duncan. But Duncan did mind. It isn't fair, he complained. Peter Sam gets a special funnel. Sir Andrew gets special wheels. Passengers get ice cream. But I'm not even polished. While this was all true, Duncan enjoyed complaining. That afternoon, his driver arrived with bad news. One of Peter Sam's coaches has come off the line. We must take workmen there for repairs. And this extra work, fumed Duncan. It weighs an engine out. Rubbish, said the driver. The workmen collected their supplies and they set off down the line. The derailed coach had a loose coupling rod that got caught on the old siding, causing it to come off the rails. Shortly after the passengers got out, it tipped over. The workmen levered it back onto the rails and left it in the siding for Sir Handel to collect it to take it to the works to be repaired. Peter Sam's train was full, so the remainder of the passengers had to ride in Duncan's brake van. He sulked the whole way. I get no rest, I get no rest, he muttered. In the middle of the lake, Duncan was short of steam, so they had to wait a while in the hopes of raising more. Come on, Duncan, said Peter Sam. We're more than halfway there. But Duncan wouldn't try. We'll keep our passengers waiting, said the driver. Duncan was cross. You always think about the passengers, and never about me. Eventually, he gave in, and they set off through the valley. But he was still very grumpy. I'm overworked, and I won't stand it, he complained. Soon enough, they reached the viaduct just before the top station. One more effort, and you'll have a drink and a rest at the station, cheered his driver. Then Duncan was very rude. Keep your old station. I'm staying here, he said. And he did. Peter Sam then had to haul Duncan and the rest of the train to the platform. When they finally arrived, the passengers were furious. They told everyone what a bad railway it was. That night, the thin controller, Mr. Percival, spoke severely to Duncan. I expect you to behave next time you come out of this shed. No passengers means no polish. Now good night, he said as he left the yard. And no polish means no passengers, Duncan muttered to himself. He still has a lot to learn, doesn't he? Mm -hmm.